ChatGPT is the new computer program that's gaining popularity for its ability to convincingly write almost anything in a matter of seconds. Whether you need a recipe, code for a website, or even a screenplay about the Avengers attending group therapy, this software can do it. However, despite its impressive capabilities, ChatGPT is under some scrutiny right now. And that's because a lot of people think it could be potentially harming students' academic integrity. I use ChatGPT to cheat. This is a student at Washington State University whose identity will remain undisclosed. But I was able to talk with him and learn about how he uses ChatGPT to cheat on assignments. You take the prompt of whatever essay your teacher has for you, and you highlight it, and you press copy, and then you paste it into ChatGPT, and then you tell it how long it has to be. And then after that, you probably read through it, and then you're pretty much set. While students may see using ChatGPT as an easy way to complete assignments, teachers have a different perspective. Lawrence Pintak, founding dean of the Murrow College of Communication and current professor, had this to say when asked about how the school combats AI writing. We have now installed software just like it checks your plagiarism, it checks is it an AI? So I get a thing that pops up that says, you know, there's a 10% chance this is written by AI. And if you had any problem with like AI detection stuff, like turn it in. I know a lot of teachers use that. Uh, no, actually, because it's di like every time you click regenerate, it's different. So I don't know, at least I haven't had a problem with it. So what makes catching AI written assignments so difficult is the fact that softwares like ChatGPT have an almost infinite amount of responses that they give you. So for example, if I were to ask it to write me an essay on Michael Jordan's legacy. And let's say the response I get is a little fishy. And if I were a student trying to use ChatGPT to cheat on an assignment, I probably wouldn't want it to sound fishy, right? So what I can do is hit the regenerate button at the bottom of the website. And what it'll do is it'll give me a whole new response, still about Michael Jordan's legacy, but written completely different. On the other hand, there is a lot of education professionals that see this software as a tool for students if used correctly. Jordan Foley, professor at Washington State University, explains more on this point of view. In a lot of ways, it's just sort of a natural advancement of the kind of technological tools we've been using to make our lives more efficient. Um, obviously, this one is bigger and newer because it's, you know, it's, uh, it's much more powerful. But I, I also think that, you know, puts the onus a lot more, perhaps unfairly, on the user um, to make sure that they're using the tool responsibly. While the debate over ChatGPT's impact on education is ongoing, it's clear that it's changing the way we approach learning and technology in the classroom. In Pullman, I'm Nick Beck.